Hey, how's it going? Sports bettors, Matt here with Dodge Jam, coming to you with some last minute player props to lock in for Monday night football tonight. Obviously, the game starts quite soon, so I want to make sure I get this out as soon as possible. So no more dilly dallying. The first play that I'm locking in found using Dodge Jam, using the positive expected value page is Mac Jones under 18 and a half completions, minus 102 at FanDuel. No big odds that Ajim calculates based on thousands of bets being back tested. Price is this at minus 103. If you want to round up, we can get it at FanDuel at minus 102. So this is going to be a half of a unit play for me. I think it's really good. Uh, obviously, I mentioned the no big odds. Any time, <clears throat> excuse me, any time in which you can beat the no big odds, it's a mathematically profitable bet. If you stack mathematically profitable bets on top of each other, you will be profitable in the long run. So in this case, even though it's a smaller gap, the gap between minus 103 and minus 102 is where you get your positive expected value from. Another reason why I like it is if you compare <clears throat> compare the FanDuel line to some sharp books, like Bet Online prices this at minus 119, the over at minus 109, favoring the under. Pinnacle, sharpest sports book in the world. Prices the under at minus 120, the over at minus 109. Same thing, favoring the under. FanDuel is a little bit of an outlier here when you compare to the sharp books at minus 102 because they have the over as the significantly more likely scenario. One of the few books that has that. So taking advantage of opportunities like these, that is how you can be profitable in the long run. Mac Jones under 18 and a half passing completions. The next one that I wanted to lock in, I actually found from line shopping, and the play is Ramondre Stevenson over 63 and a half rushing yards. So this is going to be another half unit play locked in on uh, FanDuel found using Odds Jam. Ramondre Stevenson over 63 and a half rushing yards. So this is another uh, betting opportunity that's positive expected value, but a little bit different. So if you open up uh, odds uh, using the odds jam line shopping tool it pulls up not only the odds for an individual play but it also pulls up where every sports book is pricing plays at and so we can see here uh, the bet online or excuse me the uh, Ramondre Stevenson rushing line is at 63 and a half at minus 110 the only other book that prices it at 63 and a half is win bet and they heavily favor the over at minus 125 you don't need to worry about these two here because they are from Prize Picks, and Prize Picks has the same implied odds for every play because they are a daily fantasy one, not sports betting. And the rest of the books that price it have it pretty decently above this number. The 64 and a half is what Betfred, Tipico, Bet Rivers has, uh, and Pinnacle prices it at 64 and a half as well, but they favor it going over this number. So not only are we betting on a play that is a half of a yard lower than what the sharpest sports book in the world has, but they also have it going over as the more likely scenario. So if I move my camera over a little bit to show you, Pinnacle Sportsbook here prices it at 64 and a half, and they heavily favor it to go over this number. Other sports books price it at 65 and a half, and some of them, even BetMGM, still favor it to go over. And then we see 67 and a half, and this is Underdog, another daily fantasy sports company. So all in all, Ramondre Stevenson is a great bet to go over 63 and a half rushing yards. And that is going to be it for my two last minute player props. Ramondre Stevenson over, and then Mac Jones under 18 and a half passing completions. And that's it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy the game tonight, and have a good one.